Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, hailing from and representing Coupe Alto, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 158 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 40 wins, no losses, 33 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the five-time world champion in three weight divisions, the current WBA middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome El Gran Campeón Puerto Riqueño, introducing Felix Chico Trinidad. And his opponent across the ring, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with silver trim, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at a trim and ready, 157 pounds. His first stand at 39 wins, two losses, one draw, with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he is making the 14th defense of his title. Here is the WBC and IBF middleweight champion of the world, introducing uh, Bernard, the executioner, Hopkins. Impressed me at all. All right, right up on that front foot. He's on the mark. And Hopkins' job is to keep him off the mark. Backs away from their first test to test clinch. Hopkins tries to go inside again. To get close. There you go. Now he's got it. He's got to keep hugging and pushing this guy. That's the match in his favor. There right you go. Hand inside by Bernard. Hopkins again lands the right. Trinidad misses. He just hasn't figured out this guy yet. Better really into an offensive. A limited number of punches for him in round one. Hopkins. Knowing that he's in ten. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Biggest blow in the fight. Trinidad momentarily stunned. No, no, no. On his right foot like that, he's on the market. How do you keep him out of that he's position? By, by moving left hook there instead of the jab. Now Trinidad fires his... And he paid for it. <laughs> That's the fight that Hopkins... Here in round three. But Bernard Hopkins isn't fading. No, and the bet looks pretty dead. Think about coming more to him. And step to the right and rush in. Tito put him on the... Trinidad opens up, lands two power shots. Hopkins tries to fire back immediately. Trinidad misses with the right. Hopkins lands his own. Back Tito up. Fires the left hook. Trinidad getting as good as he finishes out. Now lands the short right. That can help him. Off the neck, off the highway. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Lands flush. Continually moving to his left. To stay away from the hand against the side of Trinidad's head. Hopkins misses the right. Trinidad misses. Made upstanding in front of Trinidad. He hasn't done much of that. Trinidad and he's winning most of the rallies. Yeah, but Hopkins has used a lot of his footwork, legs up, moving around. That's not good. He's got his back against the ropes. He's living dangerously. He's still outscoring. They fight after the bell, and Hopkins dishes out twice as much. And the champ Trinidad, that you're gonna knock it, have to knock him out to win it. You may as well forget trying to win this thing off. So you're saying that Bernard didn't fool himself output by copy box numbers. Now Trinidad lands up. Remember Trinidad's amazing stamina. Hopkins lands a right. Trinidad lands a left. Felix is a marathon runner who builds the tempo from round to round, and he's trying to build it with the left hook right here. Four straight left hands by Trinidad. Hopkins block. wearing down. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of signs. But Trinidad's cornering it. What are the signs that he's wearing down? He went to his ring 
good, good corner and laid his legs flat out. Trinidad still sitting in a sitting position. Hopkins looks pretty good here as he backs Trinidad to the ropes again, Hopkins. The damage lingers on and start to accumulate. Rid of that ripping Here's left hook snap. Four outs to two. 58, 56. Well, to land one jab, stay a little closer. That's what you want. If he's going to hit you, let him be out of position to do it good. Ooh, fainting. Not being right hand. Fighter at all, fainting. <laughs> copy box numbers. Hopkins has outlanded. He hasn't had a lot of big television fights. <laughs> We're hearing about him and seeing him now. Trick wonder. He don't get him against the ropes. I'd like to see what happened in the 10, 11, and 12 with the geriatrics. Expecting to lose. Hopkins believes. Whether Trinidad will be able to beat the belief out of him remains to be seen. I don't believe what I'm seeing. I don't believe it. And now Trinidad shuffles his own feet to try to dazzle Bernard, and Bernard says, you shuffle a while, I'll hit you. So hopped his hand now with the foolishness. His job. Tito ripping with both hands, trying to break Bernard down with power shots. He's able to just lay on that left hand of Hopkins once. He's going to get him with that overhand right. No, 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 no. That's where he can ring home if he can just get him in. And the biggest thing Hopkins has accomplished by my life is he's just refusing to bend the Tito's grip. Another big surprise is that it is so far a clean fight without a single penalized foul. A shot. The closest to game was Trinidad. Louis Fisher tells for the fight. He's still firing the dab energetically. Bad Trinidad. That's what he's waiting on. Trinidad got in a good shot on Hopkins' neck. Bernard lands a straight right hand at Tito Trinidad. He was able to hit him with the right hand and move out of the way. And there's another big right hand. Get you some more. Hit you and get out of the way. And another right hand for Hopkins. First, every time he lands the jab with a straight right, I think Felix will come in. He's on that. He expects that somewhere along the way, it will play the difference. And if it doesn't, wait on your left hand and close his overhand right. Oh, Hopkins beating him to the punch, though. You know, George, Trinidad has landed some big shots, but he hasn't hurt Hopkins. After the Duffy fight, there seemed to be no question about Trinidad's viability as a 160-pound fighter, a middleweight. But maybe the question reopens itself as the result of the way that Hopkins has been able to take Trinidad's punches tonight. Oh, it's not about that. Hopkins has been extremely smart tonight. Extremely smart. Trinidad is spending a lot of himself right here because he's been taking punishment. We're seeing That's the part you want of a real champion in Trinidad because he's come through some serious fire. This is the determination of Felix Trinidad. Man is going to have to take some chances. And it's being matched by the determination of Bernard Hopkins. What an awesome show. What a great, great fight as we come down the stretch in the tenth round. Blood coming out of Trinidad's nose.
landed maybe two punches in the round. Bernard is taking target practice. I doubt it broke through the bad crowd, trying to lift their man. Hopkins just keeps pounding away. Astonishing, absolutely astonishing performance. Sometimes when a fighter is labeled a kind of a genius, he's bound to disappoint you. Big right hand. He hasn't been disappointed us, Larry. He's just kicked in, get a knockout. You just can't trust judges. Well, Hopkins still wants to fight. Dad without success. Hopkins imposing his will and his skill on the man who is tonight the lesser fighter. He'll never quit. No He'll never retreat. stop coming. No retreat. Tito can get up. He's got the desire. He's never been knocked out. This fight is over. Steve Smoker stops it. No. Bernard. Tito Trinidad comes in. Hopkins. He knocked out Trinidad. Bernard Hopkins has put himself up there in the list of all the great middleweights. His 14th consecutive defense of his title. Trinidad, a beaten man. He was beaten boxing, and then he was beaten physically. He was beaten with the smarts of Bernard Hopkins. He was beaten with the heart of Bernard Hopkins. What a performance. I'd like to find my words so I could eat them. <laughs> oh, what brilliance. Oh, what brilliance. Here's a guy who tonight just as he has through his whole career, did it his way. He insisted on his individuality, his right to govern his career and his life on his own terms. It cost him a lot. He got it all back tonight. Well, you know, there was a lot of inspiration in New York City for the United States flag, and he bit into the inspiration. There's your winner. There's your winner in a big way. And a Felix Tito Trinidad, who had never before been so physically beaten up in his career, never before knocked out, goes down in the middle of the 12th round and cannot continue as Bernard Hopkins punctuates a huge and thrilling and unexpected victory with a sensational power shot show in the 12th round. Oh, what a right hand, George. What a right hand. Every shot. This guy was so, I never thought his legs could last, but I guess those 150 pounds, exactly what he needed to move around. He 157 tricked. pounds, three pounds under the limit. Some people he thought, oh, no, he'll all. be too weak. He wasn't too weak. He was too strong. He for tricked Trinidad. us all. He tricked us. A thoroughly dominant performance from start to finish. Hopkins by CompuBox numbers landing more punches than Trinidad in every single round of the fight. Hopkins never did anything dirty. The referee had not a chance to disqualify him. No, it was a great, great fight all the way through. Never did anything dirty. Un and what a show of determination and will by Felix Trinidad. Thoroughly beaten throughout most of the fight, but fighting like a winner who believed in himself, he never stopped trying he and Never coming. stopped trying. A champion to the end. Scorecards show that Hopkins was headed for the easy victory. On the American scorecard of Don Ackerman, he was up 109 to 100 going to the 12th. On Stanley Christodoulos' South Africa scorecard, he was up 107 to 102. And on Anak Pontonkam's card, the scorer from Thailand, he was up 107 to 102. So Hopkins had won the fight on the scorecards as they entered the 12th, just as we expected was the case. Without any trust of the judges, he went for the knockout. Now let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to announce the official particulars on Hopkins triumph. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute, 18 seconds in round number 12. Our referee in charge, Steve Smoker, recognizes the corner and stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout tonight, earning his place in boxing history as he is now the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Bernard, the executioner. Hopkins!